hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to prepare a goosey soup the lumpy a goosey soup and that is what some people call a goosey soup with seed so if you are not subscribed yet please subscribe to join the family and give the video a thumbs up if you find it helpful so guys let's get into it <laughs> the beef i'm using together with some shaki others might call it bokot so you know now the intestine of a cow so i'm giving it a thorough wash it has to be clean before i can apply it to the soup so this is what i'm doing now and you can see how clean it has become after washing so this is the onion i'm using i'm using just one of them and i will be blending it if you like you can slice yours inside your meat but i'm blending mine i just feel it will sink more into the meat and give me that taste i want so whichever way you choose you can do yours but i'm blending mine that is the one i prefer So if you observe closely, you see I did not add water to the meat. I'm going to allow it to boil for some time because it will produce its own water when you leave it to boil for some time. And that is what it has done here. After now, I can add water to it to increase my broth. And this is because I want the um, everything to sink into it first before I add water to it and that is what it has done so be very observant about what i'm doing now because this part is key to achieve your lumpy eguisi i'm going to soak my melon now that is the eguisi i'll be using to make this soup so I'm going to apply water to it and the water I'm applying, if you observe cl closely, you can see that it's really small. I'm trying my best not to add too much water to it because if you add so much water to this, when you apply it to your palm oil, it will become so light and it will not give you that lumpiness you want. That seedy, greasy soup you want, it's not going to give you that, that look. So you have to be very careful when soaking it be very very careful when doing this part and I, some persons they do not soak theirs with water but i have to soak mine and that is the way my mother taught me <laughs> And allow it to cook for some time do not stir it immediately you turn it inside the palm oil so you can see how lumpy it has become if i had soaked this egg with so much water you would not have seen it like this so be careful when adding your water at this point you can add bitter leaf if you are adding bitter leaf to yours but I won't be using bitter leaf in this one. Maybe in another video, I'm going to show how I did that. So I'm going ahead now to add my beef to my eggsy soup. So I usually have dry fish at home and I wrap them like this and keep them in my freezer because it's cheaper. I prefer buying them like this. 
so i'll be using one or two in this food If you are a fan of this, please gather here. <laughs> I love adding this to my soup. Any soup I'm cooking, I love adding it, unless I did not see it in the market to buy it. So, if you know the English name of this periwinkle, because I know it as periwinkle, if you know the English name, please let me know in the comment section. We are all learning. If you are familiar with my video, you will know that I don't slice my vegetable at home. I do it in the market because I don't have that strength to be slicing vegetable at home. It's kind of stressful. So I always do it in the market. And I'm going to wash this twice to remove any sand or dust that it might have. And I don't want to be eating my vegetable and be eating sand since I did not do it by myself. So I noticed the palm oil I added to my pot initially was too much. So I've reduced it and I've allowed it to cool and now I'm adding it to my previous oil I have at home. So lucky enough for me, or fortunately for me, I noticed it on time. Please be observant when adding your oil. Be careful not to add too much. At this point, the food is ready. There's nothing more to add. It's just to give it a proper stay. Stay, 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 stay. So that everything can mix together. All the melemendes. All the... <laughs> you know now. So everything can mix very well. Please, if you derive benefit from this video, don't forget to subscribe. Please do not forget to subscribe subscribe and give the video a thumbs up please do not forget okay thank you very much at this point you can use any swallow of your choice to eat this oh yeah now it don't enter your eye abby it don't enter your eye okay go and try yours try yours and give me feedback let me know how it tastes when you're done trying yours <laughs> all right see you in the next one bye for now